Hey guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial, pretty much, I haven't done one in a while, as you can see, here's my desktop, here's some, uh, little hints to what's to come, get rid of that, that's nothing, anyway, uh, yeah, so, pretty much what we got here is we got Y, fucking can't pronounce that, <laughs> iWeSoft Free com Video Converter, stupid, anyway, this is pretty good for, it, and it's free, you can look it up, I'll probably put the link in the description and etc. So pretty much what you do is you choose formats and you got all these, take the video and you want to change it so it's easier to upload to YouTube if you don't have something like Camtasia like I do here. And yeah, so what we got here is recent, well, Recent's just pretty much the recent formats that I've used, and I haven't used this in a while, so there's nothing. Common video. Uh, what do we got? Well, you can see I've talked about this in my Camtasia tutorial a little bit too. Advanced streaming format, which, you know, network broadcasting and stuff. There is a little description here, and I am kind of using that to help me through it because I'm not a master at the formats, like, I know what I like to use, so I use that, and I don't really, you know. Anyway, we got API, audio, video, interleaved, you know, with video playback. I think that's used in a lot in, like, Movie Maker and stuff like that. Plus, uh, you know, for better quality videos, say, like, if you were to go to 2plus.me, which is a free streaming, whatever, you know, they'll probably use that format. I'm thinking, anyway. Um, AVI DivX video, that's like a better grade quality, you know. And then XVID, it's like the same as DivVid, except a little bit better. Or DivX, sorry. And then we got QuickTime video, which I think is more of an Apple thing that uses QuickTime, because I don't use QuickTime. I have it, but I don't really use it. Uh, MP4, like if I was to use it, I'd use something like, or I mean, I'd use like Windows Player or whatever, oops. Anyway, uh, where were we? MP4, that's what I use to upload YouTube at 720p all the time. If you haven't realized, you can change the quality at the little wheel thing that's down there. It looks like a gear, I don't know. Yeah, so there's MP4 compression standard for network broadcast and video communication with small size and high picture quality. Yeah, it's good for pretty much just compressing the file down and then you can upload it from there and whatever. And I don't want to go into too much detail about the other stuff because honestly they're all pretty much the same. Common audio video that's pretty much just, you know, music it's good for taking music out of videos and making it better quality. Say, if you use IX Converter online, which is what I use, it's a pretty good converter, but sometimes it's just not matching my standards for what I want to listen to. Because I have higher grade or, or higher grade headphones, and if I listen to something, I'll be like, and there's that error that I could correct, but I'm too lazy to. Uh, yeah, and. Like I said, I don't want to go into other detail, but plaques are pretty good for, like, you know, they're just extremely small files. You'll see them in a lot of, uh, you know, I'm not going to say what it is, but <laughs> you'll see them in a lot on the, uh, Pirate Bay and stuff like that. Yeah. iPod self-explanatory you got iPod iPhone iPhone Apple TV that's like the if you have iTunes you'll know what Apple TV is if you don't don't even you know have any regard to it uh, PS3 PSP that's really self-explanatory I mean the yeah. mobile phone self-explanatory again it's kinda like the iPhone except you know um, but you do have different grades and stuff, like you even have Android there and all that. But you can kind of go through that yourself. I, I'm not going to have this as a long tutorial, it is just a converter. You got the Xbox and the, 
you know, Dell player and HP in general pocket. And, yeah, I have a friend that's on Skype call in the other line. But, yeah. It's making noise. We got Nintendo DS, we got Portable. You know, that's Walkman I haven't seen in years. Wii and DS, like a, well, I just said that that's for DS and that's for Wii. HD video, self-explanatory, it's pretty much like common video, except it's a higher grade video. In other words, it could be, say, you have a 4 gigabyte video, if you use for apps, which I could do a tutorial next. Um, it'll be 4 gigabytes, obviously, but if it's HD, it could be anywhere from 6 to 9 gigabytes, whatever. That's not really a good estimate, but we'll just say that right, it'll just increase the uh, gigabytes, and it takes much longer to upload. That's why I do 720 and not 720 HD, because HD is very, very high quality. Flash radio and picture, it's use a flash video most of the time for YouTube, or you could use MP4. MP4 is a little bit better looking. Use flash video if you're going to upload to a website like DeviantArt or well, DeviantArt it doesn't really accept videos, but you you get my point. Just upload it to say your website or whatever. You got DVD video format, and that's pretty self-explanatory. You pop a video, or I mean a DVD, in your drive or whatever you're using PVR. I don't know, and you just pretty much use that, and then you can put it on your DVD, and it'll play at a really good quality. Easier to find. I don't know what that does. Like, yeah, whatever. Screw it. Um, all profiles, yeah, pretty much it's just a long list. I would suggest going through these, you know, instead of using all profiles because this is much easier to find the profile that you want to use. Uh, profile, so pretty much if I want to use, say, let's go to common video, and let's just use MP4, the most commonly used one. And then I find the target, right, after going through the settings, which, you know, codec, whatever, frame rate, this, that, this, that. I'll go more into frame rates and, oh my god, what was it on? Oh, okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, if I go up to frame rates and all that, I'm pretty much, yeah. I'll, I'll do that for frap, sorry. <laughs> Lost my roll when the Skype popped up. Uh, find target, whatever. Merge into one file, that's like if you have multiple files, you can just do that. Uh, yeah, that should be pretty self-explanatory. You can edit it, you can add, delete, whatever. I'm not really sure how good it is, because like I said, I use Camtasia more. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. I'm going to show you the time. We're at 8.21 for me, anyhow. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.